Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a grocery store. This is the amount of space required to make the grocery store. And here are all of the materials that we will need throughout the build. But not only will we need this giant double chest worth of materials, we will also need these materials as well. Begin by placing a cyan terracotta on the ground, and then dig five rows in the ground to the right of it. One, two, three, four, five. You can fill those spaces in using cyan terracotta. Next to this, we want to place a light blue stained glass pane, leave a gap, and then place another cyan terracotta. Extend it backwards by four. One, two, three, four. And then to the right by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Place a light gray concrete, an upside down smooth quartz stairs, a light grey concrete, and then two cyan terracottas, one, two. Extend the second cyan terracotta forwards by three, one, two, three, and then extend it backwards also by 11. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Extend across the back of the build by 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then forwards by 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We then want to extend across and join all the way back to where we very first started. And that will give us this shape. On top of the very first block that we placed, place 6 green concrete. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then extend the 6th block to the right and join down to the cyan terracotta block on the opposite side of this area. We then want to place two rows of white concrete underneath the overhanging row of green concrete. Place a row of green concrete underneath this. Then extend the light blue stained glass pane upwards to hit the green concrete row and left of all of those glass panes place light blue glass block extending towards the left side of the build. Now that we've done this we want to come towards the right side of the build where we have the light grey concretes and the smooth quartz stairs. We want to extend the light grey concretes each up by one, place grey concrete on top and join them together across the top, and then behind this we're going to place white concrete just so that we cover the gap that we have here in this wall. And now that we've done that, all we simply want to do is place green concrete on top of the frame of the build extending over the ATM, and the green concrete wants to be as high as the green concrete that we've already placed. So really quite easy to do, and this will pretty much form the entire outer shell of the grocery store.
The end result will look like this. So the next part of this is very simple, we are going to dig out the entire grid, everywhere inside of the store we will replace using oak planks and everywhere outside we will replace using smooth stone. And also whilst we're here we will make the roof for the store as well. So as long as we have three empty rows inside of the store, we should be able to fit absolutely everything we need to inside of here. So I'm going to use green concrete for the ceiling, and then I think that I'm going to install a fake roof ever so slightly higher. We'll use a different material for this, maybe even cyan terracotta. And now with all of that filled in, we can work on some of the details on the outside of the build. In this corner of the build, we are going to make a vegetable stand. It is five rows wide and it is made mainly using dirt. One, two, three, four, five, extending across the front from this corner here, then extend it one row up, one row forwards like this, and dig a row in front of this in the ground and replace it using dirt. We're then going to hoe the front row and replace it using wheat seeds. Then the middle row, we are going to hoe this and replace the area with carrots, and then the top row, we will hoe it and place beetroot seeds in there. Then I'm going to stack spruce trap doors on the right side of this, just like so, and that should hopefully maybe grow passively, if not we will bone meal it later. Okay, to the right of this we have an ATM. For the ATM, we first of all are going to place a painting in the back, an activator rail in front of this, to the right a stone button, and just above the centre an item frame with a diamond in it. There we go, nice simple ATM. Next, there is a canopy above all of this, so grab your red wool and in line with this middle row of produce we want to leave a gap of one, two, and then place red wool here, so just one row above where these beetroots are, and extending right of the red wool, white wool, red, white, two red, white, red, white, red. Then we are going to extend each one of these blocks upwards, and then we want to extend them towards the back of the store like this diagonally, and that will just create a nice canopy. If you want to create an even more slightly realistic effect, if you add a couple of oak fans, one on the left, one on the right, that will look good. So on the right side of the build here, we are going to have some more fruit and vegetable stands. So we'll leave a gap of two from the front, so like one, two, and then we want to place three rows of melons, one, two, three, three rows of pumpkins, one, two, three, and then three rows of red mushroom block, one, two, three. We're going to extend each one of these one row forwards, and then I'm going to extend the pumpkins up a row like this, just in a few different places to make it look as though that they're heaped. The same with the mushrooms. And then we are going to make a canopy for this as well. So we want to place one, two, three oak fence extending outwards diagonally from the front and back corners of the, uh, of the fruit. Then we want to place string in between the oak fence like this. And then on top of this, we want to stack alternating red and white carpet leading from front to back. And ultimately this will extend to the actual store as well, but I'm thinking that we should probably do something first. And that is to, for some of the pumpkins, we don't have to do it to all of them, add some sea pickles to the actual pumpkins themselves, maybe in just like this little formation as well. And then for this back area here, I want to add some item frames with apples on them. So this kind of gives the appearance of like apples heaped together. We also have to place some spruce trap door flipped up around this to make it look as though that they're kind of like arranged into bins, like so. And then we can make the canopy. So the only reason that I didn't want to do it initially is say like when it comes to the sea pickle here, we can just place a carpet on top of it. So there's no need to actually place any string. Although it would seem that there is actually not too many instances of this. This might actually be easier to do from this angle. There's not too, maybe not. There's not too many instances where this would actually like be a problem anyway. So we've just got to very carefully place the string. It's easy to get lost with this stuff, or at least it is for me. And then we can just place 
one of each colour extending towards the front. I have missed with that. Oh, no, we missed a string. See, it's easy to miss one, it really is. And then we can place the white copy here, here, so on and so forth until we have made the entire right side. And that looks really good. Next, we also have to make a canopy for the front of the store as well. So basically, if we begin by placing a red wall in this position, in between the sign and the window, just in between in front of the green, we want to place a red wall, extend it one row forwards. Right of this, place a series of white wall, red, white, red, white. And I think that we're just going to cover up just the window area here. Do we want to add another red one just above the door? Maybe not. We'll, we'll actually leave it like this, and then we are going to place fence that extends up in front of this, like this, and it wants to just kind of like sit in front of the outer wall, connect sort of like diagonally like this, we'll place a string in between the top pair of oak fence, and then place carpet corresponding to the wall behind it, just extending across, and that will give us another canopy, so that looks really good. I'm going to place an end rod in front of the middle of the door, facing downwards like this, and also a bell just in the actual entrance of the door too. I think that I'm actually just going to grow all of this using bone meal, because I'm not 100% convinced that it will actually be grown by the end of the video. Nice, and now that that's done, we have but one thing left to do outside. The dreaded sign, so throw down the loom, open it up, place a white banner in there with some black die. We're looking for the black pale sinister pattern, aka the vertical row of black on the right side. Grab that, put that back in, throw some white dye in there instead, and make the upper half of the banner white. Throw black dye back in there, place a horizontal row of black across the bottom, vertical row of black on the left side, and then a horizontal row across the top. That is our first letter, G. We are literally spelling the word grocery, by the way, so G. Then we have to make R, so that's a vertical row of black on the left side, horizontal on the top, and top left corner to bottom right corner diagonal. R. Next would be O, so that's a vertical row of black on the left, the right, and then a horizontal row of black across the top and the bottom, and that is O. The next letter is C, so that's a vertical row of black on the left side, horizontal across the top, horizontal across the bottom. Next is going to be E, so that's a vertical row of black on the left side, horizontal across the top, through the middle, along the bottom. Then would be R again, but we already have one, so we're skipping to Y, so that's a diagonal row, top left corner to bottom right corner, grab that, put that back in, throw white die in there, make the lower half of the banner white, grab the black die, put that back in, place the opposite diagonal banner, and there we go, we have a grossy. So, we want to place, starting from the left side here of this white concrete, G, R, O, C, E, R, Y. Perfect, we have grocery. With all of the outside complete, we can now work on the inside. First things first, we have to make a coffee machine. This is at the front left-hand corner of the store. We place a couple of red terracottas extending from the front to the back, flit the second one upwards towards the ceiling, add a lever on the wall here, and then a painting inside of this empty space. I specifically like this one, with a flower pot on the empty ledge here, and then right of this, a button. Above this, an item frame with cocoa beans. Then, right of this, we want to place a light grey concrete with an item frame in front of it. This kind of looks like a bin. And then, above this, we are going to add a shelf using spruce trap doors. And then, we need some brown candles. And these will just look like more coffee cups or different syrups or something. Now, right of this, we are going to stack a vertical row of bookshelves. Then, next to this, we are going to create a 2x2 two two window, like so, just knocking out the green concrete and leaving the cyan, uh, cyan terracottas alone underneath. Then, on the end of the window, we want to place a row of four grey concrete extending across the store. One, two, three, four, like this. We want to place a smooth quartz stairs on the counter, heavy weighted pressure plate, flower pot, lily of the valley inside of it, a lantern on the end. We then, behind this counter space, we want to place four barrels extended upwards like this, a set of spruce trap doors above the barrels like so, in such a way that we are able to place all of the tables on top of the trap doors. Then, right of the barrels, we want to place two upside down smooth quartz stairs with 
blue concrete on the end of this, and we might even make this two rows to just make it a little bit chunkier. Well, regardless, we want to knock out above and behind the uh, the smooth quartz stairs. Behind the stairs, we're actually going to replace these with sea lanterns, and then we are going to use bookshelves to fill in this gap behind the hole that we've made, and then we are actually going to place cyan terracotta around the bookshelves with green concrete stacked up and around this, and this is just going to be a little addition to the store. We then have to make our way back inside here, and that will actually give us a cool effect. We're going to stack some tripwire hooks in front of the bookshelves, item frames in front of the left side here, different potions inside of this, so it's just going to look like a drinks machine, a drinks vending machine. A couple of stone buttons just to the right, you can even have like another item frame trip by hook, just make it look a little bit fancier if you like. So all we have to do is just fill the front of this in using glass. And whilst we are at it, we are going to just dig around the counter space and replace that using grey concrete, or rather, grey glazed terracotta like this. Maybe we can even extend it to the right and like just underneath the vending machine, just so that it looks a little bit nicer. Well, anyway, to the right of where we walk in, we want to make a kind of like display stand for some cakes. So we are going to leave a gap of two. So from this block here, we want to leave a gap of one. And then this second block here, we want to place two spruce planks extending towards the back here. And then we're going to place spruce trap doors on top of each other, just flipped up towards the ceiling like so. We then want to place spruce trap doors just along the top of the first row of green concrete. And we want to place cake and item frames along the bottom here, but also just one snook on here on the top. And we want to place like pumpkin pie, cookies, cake inside of the item frames. We're then going to stick scaffolding next to this from floor to the ceiling. And then we are going to stick a couple of rows of bookshelves once again from floor to ceiling like this. And this really gives like a nice fun feel to the inside of the grocery store. It feels as though that we're just absolutely surrounded by cool stuff, and that's how I like it. See, from here, we now want to move into the next part, and this is uh, ever so slightly less filled. So across this wall here, we are going to place white concrete all the way along to the left, except for in this corner, and this is a little bit dark, but we're actually going to be placing a window here anyway, so we can actually have a 2x2 two two square, and then we'll just fill it in using light blue glass. So, all the way over to the left here, leaving a gap of one, and we just want to kind of like floor to ceiling the area using white concrete, like so. And then all the way over here on the left, we'll have a barrel at the base, like this, then we want to have a spruce trap door, flower pot on top, lily of the valley on top of that. It kind of just breaks up the wall between what is now going to be a series of freezers. So, on the left side here, we want to have a vertical row of white concrete like this. I'm thinking that we might even bring this an additional row forwards, or maybe even just make the window a little bit bigger. I kind of almost want to make bring this outwards as well, but it, it doesn't matter, actually. It, it can kind of like stay away in the back corner. It's just for decoration. So, along the bottom of this, we want to place two light grey concrete, Another vertical row of white concrete, two light grey, vertical row of white, two light grey, vertical row of white, just like this. Then we are going to fill this in using light blue stained glass block, like this. And then we want to have vertically placed end rods in front of the left side of each one of the uh, freezers. So we can then place item frames on the doors, and then we just have to fill the item frames in with produce. So that can be pretty much anything, but I'm going for some cooked cod, cooked salmon, steak, cooked mutton, cooked chicken, and cooked pork chop. Nice little variety there. Continuing, we want to build up a little area here where we can like display some clothes. So next to this window, we are going to place a cyan terracotta on the ground, green concrete extending up. We then want to leave a gap of two and then have a cyan terracotta on the ground, green concrete extending up. We're then going to stack some end rods just in this position here so that we can have a close rail with a light blue banner and a yellow banner just on the floor kind of um, impaled by the end rods, so they're kind of like hanging off the rack. We then want to have barrels suspended above these 
and this also goes for the space to the left with item frames inside of this. Then armor stands on the ground to the left, and then from here, we can simultaneously fill in the armor stands using gold and diamond armor, and we can also fill in the uh, item frames above as well with anything that you like. We'll probably vary those. So it doesn't really matter what you put in those, it's more so a personal choice. And then for the rest of this area, we're basically just going to divide it up using bookshelves. So we can place a series of bookshelves just across this wall here, just connected to the vending machine. I don't think that we're actually going to place it against it though. And these bookshelves just want to be two rows high. Then we can kind of devise a method in maybe like leaving a gap of two, bookshelf, gap of two, bookshelf, and then that works out quite nicely. But the thing is, we want the bookshelves to all kind of like be similar in length, so we want to have like, yeah, that's that'll probably work. So, or maybe these two can be a little bit longer, and then this one, no, no, I don't like that. So we'll all make them the same length. We want to be able to get around these back ones, and the bookshelves want to be uh, two rows high in total. Plus, if we dig underneath, the the center bookshelves like this and replace it using say like red concrete powder or something it, it just kind of like breaks up the floor a little bit because this part of the convenience store the grocery store it's just not quite as like filled as the first half and I think that we could definitely make it a little bit better by adding things like um, we by adding things like paintings and stuff to the actual like the shelves and to the wall we need a window by the way so the window I think will make it the length of the bookshelves plus one so just along the back and then one row longer on each end and I think that that's pretty good I, th I think that we've done a good job if you want to stack more stuff on the bookshelves you can but I actually I actually quite like this so th guys that's that's actually the whole thing so that's it ladies and gentlemen I do hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial if you have please do remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel I do hope to see you guys in the next one good bye